You can answer all your burning questions, but if you got to take off, I understand time is precious. Get out there, do what you got to do. And that's it. So thanks for stopping by, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Now let's jump into Q&A with DJ. That was a nice, that's got a nice ring to it. Q&A with DJ. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Uh, <laughs> Alex Birch, the thumbnail, super creepy lizard photo. Yeah, so uh, I was talking to a guy from Coin Bureau and his, his uh, growth team, and they said that your thumbnails, Rob, aren't the best and uh, do something a little bit different to catch attention. I'm like, okay, sounds like a plan. So I did that. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Kryptonian says it's going to take several versions before a final draft can be considered for approval. I got to agree there. And then uh, Jungle, who was supposed to be on this stream, as a matter of fact, unfortunately, he has the J-O-B, the J-O-B syndrome, and uh, he couldn't make it. But he says the coins are not securities, but the issuing entities are required to report financial information based on an offering. Anything to add on that one? That's probably just, you know, connected to the ICO that they keep mentioning in there. You know, if they did that, then they need to report it. Uh, but he knows more on that than I do. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the big, the big thing was like, well, is if it's a security, does everything just disappear? It's not how it works. I mean, it's going to be a pain in the A for the exchanges. And of course, if it's a pain in the A for the exchanges, it might pass us pass down to us. Well, I mean, not me and DJ, we just use Voyager and, uh, <laughs> That's right, shilling, a little bit of shilling. We, we, do, we, we just use Voyager and, uh, and it works out pretty well. Let's see. Yes, that's what it was, the registered agent. Thank you, Adam. Hold on, if you can There's a good question. Can DJ really DJ? That's a pretty good question, actually. I have written a few songs that I sing to my kids, uh, <laughs> but I am not an actual DJ. Just my initials. It's a perfect. Funny picture. And a good picture. Uh, Master Blaster, refresh us to what crypto news is pending. Mm, there's a bill that we just talked about, which is going to hopefully put a lot of the impetus of uh, regulation away from the SEC on the CFTC for commodities, hopefully, and a lot of other things that we just went over. Uh, it's hard to paraphrase, but uh, that's the big one. DJ, can you do a better paraphrase than that? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how about this one. It, it's a lot of it. Just wait and see. Just yeah, it is a wait. They just dropped the bomb, and now we have to kind of chew on it for a while. But I got to tell you, like DJ, when did you get into crypto? How long ago? Seventeen originally, but got out, <laughs> and then every day since December twenty twenty. Right. So in twenty seventeen, remember that bull run? <clears throat> if we would have had Congress in the United States talking about crypto, how big would that bull run have been? <laughs> a lot bigger i mean it felt like we were doing something on the black market like i just yeah. doubled up in a week what <laughs> that's you know and, what that's uh, it and back then i thought it was going to go away i don't know about you yeah i mean i got out because i didn't think it was going to last um mm -hmm. i was just using coinbase that's the only thing i did very small involvement yeah that's all i had that's when coinbase only had five mm -hmm. coins people right. five it was bitcoin ethereum litecoin and two other i can't remember what they were but that was the that was the the five and that was it. Question: What's the classification for Monero and other privacy coins? I have no idea. DJ, what do you think? I think they're privacy coins because they won't have a classification. Mm. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Mess but, with Monero. Yeah, I know. You know, or Zcash. You know, there is utility there for those two if you think about it, and that's their big thing. Yeah, looking for utility. They could but, benefit from this if it goes bad. <laughs> that's true. Grandpa rocks. USA destroyed Luna. I don't think USA destroyed Luna. I think Doquan destroyed Luna. I could be wrong here. DJ? <laughs> yeah. I think arrogance destroyed Luna. I think if so. If I had to pick one word. Yeah, probably. Ada is about to possibly break through. DJ, what's your what's your big holds? Uh, I mean, I, I actually don't have much ADA. I don't really like it in its current state, but I sure. have gone on record of saying it's probably one of the best long-term because not everything is going to stick around. But like what you see in that interview that you referenced, uh, Hoskinson has the calm with this um, new policy. He has the connections. He's been there and done it. Uh, the connections are what matters along with the tech, but I, I'm not really in it for the tech. Um <laughs> 
I'm not like everybody else and making money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I, uh, he seems calm about it. So that's, that was comforting. Probably the most comforting thing of my day with this legislation was watching his interview. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead. So everybody link in the description, go check it out or just do a uh, YouTube search for Charles Hoskinson. It'll pop right up. Um, where are people buying XRP? That's a good, I wish jungle was here. You could probably tell to me. Uh, a poll I think is the one. Uphold. I think so. Oh, that's the, the wallet that you can do some swaps and things like that. I'm pretty sure that's where you can buy it. It's a green app. I know that. I think it's uphold. <laughs> Darth Mike. Wow. 200 bucks. Don't spend it all at once. That's just for transactions. Like, you know, cause they want to not make it such a big deal. Yeah. That 600 is that taxable transaction that they're trying to push through. And that's where that similarity was, I guess. Which, you know, I just went, we just went to Home Depot to get a new fridge. So our fridge is uh, super old and not working right. I mean, that was 780 bucks at Home Depot. So if I was going to do that, uh, I mean, I'd be paying capital gains tax on buying those things. So again, I think that's where, where it's at. Uh, Honey Badger. Uh, the current market cap is 1.2 trillion. Black record sell is 15 trillion. That's true. Friend of the show, Mullet, holding it down. Thank you. And then the Fed is not needed. I think the Fed is needed in certain situations if they can just do their job. The thing is that they don't. They don't give us the clarity. DJ, what's going to what's going to take? Huh? Supposed to be apolitical, but seems to be going further in the wrong direction. Ugh, yeah. Someone says atomic wallet you can buy on XRP. KuCoin, perhaps. Beardy says pistachio coin of the moon. That's true. It's one of my new coins I just created. I'm just kidding. How's tomato? Tomato coin, uh, that was a pump and dump. <laughs> I put I put all, all marinara on the blockchain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just, I, I actually did an airdrop of uh, all my Cardano delegators on my stake pool. And they're like, what is this? I'm like, I just, it was just an airdrop. What, is it worth anything? No. Is it a, is it a scam? No, it just doesn't do anything. But I wanted to just airdrop it to everybody. Uh, and that's it, I think. You still do Avalanche too, right? Yeah, I have the av that one's uh, coming to fruition. The one year is coming up right now. I think it's this month, as a matter of fact. There's one. Michael, why try to shoehorn digital assets into either security or commodity concepts instead of creating their own class with their own laws? And Good question. DJ, what do you think? I think if they created their own cl uh, class, it would validate it above set aside could be potentially superior to what they can control with their own currency. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the reason they're leaving currency out. And, and now as I look back at how people describe it, they now say just crypto, like Senator Lummis and stuff. They're not saying cryptocurrency anymore. So it got me thinking they're just, they're trying to set it under their power umbrella. They're not going to create something new and say, Hey, this is the next great thing. That's my opinion. Yeah. And it makes, but yeah, that's a, it would be great if we could do that, but they won't do that. I, don't, I mean, just to get them to understand what is, what is a cryptocurrency, uh, that's the big next step for them to say, now it needs its own agency. It's not going to happen anytime soon. That's maybe sure. when they come out with their CBDC or whatever, maybe then they start giving things credence because it's going to go under that. But do you, I don't think ready. Do you think who's the next CBDC? Who's the next country to, to get the C, their CBDC rolled out? I, we know China's there with the digital yuan. Is it know, us? Nobody trustworthy, I wouldn't think. Uh, North Korea? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. This is a good good point. Too many scam crypto products need to be exposed and wiped from the system. See, that's just it. That's the whole point of the bear market. That's the whole job to get rid of all the junk. I think the market is the only chance that uh, kind of like what I was telling you earlier, it's there's a utopian thought in crypto of like, this is what we wish would happen, but it's not going to happen. Um, there is no knight riding in to save us from these things. 
it's simply the market itself needing to make it not available. Yeah. As long as people fall for it, there's always going to be scams. And if this is a, such a huge system, scams will exist. Yeah. But the market yeah. itself will wipe them out. Just like, you know, if you look back at 2017, the crypto projects that were in the top 10, even, you know, there's three left. Um, yeah, I remember. They kind remember of get wiped out on their own. Hey, you know what? Check this out. This would be a good one. Ah. Uh... The problem now is scam projects have figured out how to make it you uh, have utility of what we would all call utility. They now can create that. You can create that in crypto. Uh, so they can just continue to go and go and go. As long as you just make it look right, you can't really technically on paper call it a scam. And that's how they can create them now. Of course. I'm trying to pull up the... Uh... On Coin Gecko, let me show you this. So Coin Gecko has a point here. Where did it go? Portfolio. There was a way to actually look at it for the history. I thought it was historical. Oh, like to where you can see who was yeah. in their yeah, ranking at a certain time. Yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's not going to give it to me. Oh, well. But yeah, because I remember back in the day, it was, first of all, it was Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Zcash, I've got a bunch of other ones, but they're all gone right now because that's just how it goes. So anyhow. All right. So I don't think there's any more questions. <laughs> What's Luna? Uh, oh, locked Luna. That's LL Luna. Oh, locked. Well, it's going to be Luna. locked for a year or two. Yeah. Have fun with that. Let's see. This one, Monero is still secured and fungible and untraceable. I think the offer of the IRS 625,000 anyone who can track Monero still stands. That's how strong Monero is. Monero goes through. Yeah. I mean, I don't own any of that. I would just, I, I wonder like how many people who own Monero use it for transactions. I mean, and that's it. All right. And that's it. And uh, no more questions. So we must have done our job. So first of all, I want to say thank you, DJ, for stopping yeah, by on the show. Me. You guys can find his channel. There's a link in the description. Uh, check him out. Good analysis, especially on Voyager. I know you had Steve on not too long ago. Uh, good stuff about the new loyalty program. Hey, what do you think about that, Am? Before we go, the loyalty program that just came out. I think it's a lot better than people realize. They just haven't gotten the rewards yet. Hmm. <clears throat> Once people start getting the rewards for their usual activity because more rewards were added. I think they'll value it more. Um, the only negative would I, I would say is that I wish the navigator status didn't go to 25,000. I know they have this system. It's kind of confusing about grandfathering in, but um, other than that, it, it's a more benefits than it was before. And there's not another program that can say that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be going to be good. Everybody was, was complaining about the ACH thing, but I was like, Look, I get a, I have a debit card. I know not everybody does, but uh, I have a debit card and I get 3% cash back just for the debit card. I'll take it. You can use that card number through PayPal and get the same rewards. Yeah, that's right. That was the hack, right? Use it through PayPal, pay your bills, get 3% back on the, on the bills you pay. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And it's not like a credit card where you have a, you know, an APY. So look, that's it, everybody. So look, we're almost uh, coming to the hour. I want to say thanks again, DJ. I appreciate it. And all of you stopping by for the live stream, I uh, thank you so much. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, all that great stuff. And that is it for today. Thanks so much, everybody. And uh, see you on the next one. Adios.